Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. We're down in Dallas, Texas today at the Chevrolet Truck Centennial Celebration, 100 years of Chevrolet trucks. Big celebration going on here at Texas Motor Speedway, and I've snuck away from the crowds, and I've got myself the Chevrolet Tahoe RST, the new high-performance special edition of the Tahoe. So if you've ever thought to yourself, gosh, you know, I want to spend 78 grand on a Tahoe, this is it. And we did a little video on this earlier this year, sort of a first look, and talked about all the things it has. Among the many things, it's got a performance suspension, performance brakes, this has got the package on it with the bigger wheels, 6.2 liter V8, and the new 10-speed automatic transmission, all in the Tahoe. And I'm getting my first quick drive in it right now, and that's what we're about to do. So, out here on the expressway, and hammer down. Nice small block V8 sound. Woo! <laughs> Yahoo! All right, so it, it's got some pretty good pickup. You know, this thing's a really big, heavy Tahoe, so it's obviously not super Corvette Camaro SS fast. And we're gonna get on the freeway up here and, and do that again, because damn, that's got a nice sound to it. So the RST has 6.2 liter V8, which is a Chevrolet engine. It's, it's been around in some of the other vehicles, but this is the first time it's available in the Tahoe. 420 horsepower, and here mated to the new 10-speed automatic transmission that General Motors and Ford developed together, but General Motors has told us uh, they've developed their own control system, their own ECU, all of the hardware that actually changes the gears. And so we're gonna see how it goes here. That exhaust system's got a nice pop to it, doesn't it? And I'm going 80 miles an hour in the freeways right there, so I kinda gotta be careful here not to break too many traffic laws because we are next to the speedway and they all know what's going on out here. Yeah, it works pretty good, I'd say. This boil exhaust system really does have a nice tone to it too. Makes going 80 and 90 miles an hour in a Tahoe just an R old joy. And these big Brembo brakes on this thing, haul it down from 100 miles an hour, lickety split. Hmm, and they don't smell too bad either. Let's see, we're not being followed by the cops, okay. Bonus. Now we're gonna get on the freeway and do that again because damn, this is fun. I love sneaking away from the crowd and, and well, I hope they don't notice the vehicles missing. I found out where Chevrolet hides their keys on all their press vehicles here at the event. <laughs> here we go again. Woo! 78K. Okay, gotta slow down. I'm going 80 and I'm entering the freeway to pace that's not okay. Now this also has a performance suspension on it which means well it means it's a better suspension than the rest of the Tahoe's out there. The ride quality here seems to be pretty good with these big wheels and tires in spite of the fact that we've got a, a lower side profile there. Typically that has an effect on ride quality here. Uh, the suspension has been tuned such that it all works together pretty well. And sometimes when you have these big heavy wheels on a vehicle like this, you get kind of a, a weird unsprung heaviness not going on here. You do still know you're in a big heavy truck though. That goes without saying. This is still a big heavy truck. The interior of this generation Tahoe is also very nice. Some of the highest quality materials I've ever seen in a Tahoe. And I've owned two Tahoes, two is it three? I've owned a few Tahoes, previous generations. So this is definitely top of the notch, top of the notch, top of the notch. It's nice, Let's, let me just say that. The materials here are very good. Uh, I love the color combination in this particular one. Sure fits my tire today, I think. It's very Texas-like. And I'm rolling down here right next to Texas Motor Speedway right over there where we're supposed to be. And there's the event I'm supposed to be at. In fact, they can see me right now. Ooh, you can hear that. Oh, no, I need this one. Er, I'm not used to Texas, sorry. <laughs> 
Am I taking a U-turn or am I taking a left turn? It's so confusing for this Arizona native to drive in Texas. Well, that was kind of fun. I mean, it was kind of one-dimensional for one of my test drives, just foot to the floor, going crazy time and time again. That's what do you, what, I'm, what else am I going to do with this? I mean, this is, that's what this is for is rah! Uh, in case you didn't see the pictures earlier, basically the visuals here, in addition to that performance and the V8 growl, you've got the looks. It's monochromatic here on the RST. This one's got the performance package, so it's got the nice 22 inch wheels, those beautiful brakes you can see through the wheels, black emblems, the exhaust pipes are black. Uh, and it does, of course, come in other colors, but I, I chose black for my quick little sneak away here because it just, look at it. That was probably not informative at all because I wasn't able to format this like our regular test drives, but this is the new 2018 Chevrolet Tahoe RST. I like it. If I were buying a Tahoe, I would totally look at this one because it has the sporting intentions that I would normally look for in a car, maybe a muscle car. Well, I guess it is a muscle car, only it's a Tahoe. So there you go. 6.2, 420 horsepower, 10 gears, all in a Tahoe. I'm Sam Haymar for Test Driven TV. If you want to see more of this, more vehicles like this, click right there, see our latest video, or click right here, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Either way, stay tuned.